So the first question is asking to convert 1.6 grams to milligrams. So I'm gonna write out 1.6 grams. So 1.6 grams times. Okay, so what's going on the bottom is gonna be grams because we wanna cancel out grams. Why do we wanna cancel out grams? Because we want our answer to be in milligrams. One gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. All you need to do is multiply 1.6 times 1,000 milligrams and you'll get your answer. So your answer should be 1,600 milligrams. Now I am going to do number two. It's asking us to convert 130 pounds to kilograms. So now I'm going to write it out. So 130 pounds, okay? And then we're converting it to kilograms. So what you want on the bottom, once again, is what you're trying to cancel out. And I'm trying to cancel out pounds because we want our answer to be in kilograms. So how many pounds? Because pounds can convert directly to kilograms. How many pounds is one kilogram? And the answer is 2.2. 2.2 pounds is equal to one kilogram. So you're going to, mind you, these are gonna cancel out. Probably should have done that for the other. So you're going to divide 130 by 2.2. Your answer should be 59.1. 59.1, 1. 59.1. Number three, you have to convert 200 micrograms. And you're gonna convert that to milligrams. So 1000 micrograms is actually equal to one milligram. So you can, all you have to do is multiply across and then divide, so. 200 times one divided by 1,000. So your answer should be 0.2 milligrams. 0.2 milligrams. Okay. 7,100 mLs to liters. Mill milliliters to liters. So 1,000 milliliters is going to equal one liter. And you want to cancel out the mLs because this is going to end up canceling out once you do all the, the multiplying and dividing. 7,100 divided by 1,000 and you're going to get 7.1 liters. Okay, so this question is a tablet question, is what I'm gonna call it. So the provider orders 0.20 grams of the fluconazole by mouth. So PO means by mouth. The only thing really you need to be seeing is what the provider ordered, which is what you're gonna start with. So 0.20 grams. And you're gonna need to know like what your answer should be in. So this question is asking you to find out how many tablets the nurse is going to administer. Yeah, so you wanna, your answer should be in tablets. So 0.20 grams. And by the way, you also wanna know that each tablet is 100 milligrams. So that's important because the provider ordered a dose that's in grams and each tablet is in milligrams. So you need to, you need to convert grams to milligrams. You do 0 0.20 grams. 
And you're gonna do one gram is 1,000 milligrams. So you're multiplying that. So basically you wanna cancel. I keep forgetting to cross these out for you guys, but you're canceling out, just so you can see it visually, you wanna cancel the grams because your answer is gonna be tablets. So if grams has nothing to do with the tablets, we're canceling that out. You wanna cancel the milligrams and you're gonna use the fact that each tablet is 100 milligrams. So 100 milligrams is gonna, so 100 milligrams is one tablet. So each tablet is equal to 100 milligrams. And then your answer is gonna be in tablets, right? And your, the milligrams are gonna cancel out. So once you multiply 0.20, 1,000, and you can multiply by one, but it's unnecessary, and then divide by 100, you're gonna get your answer. Your answer should be two tablets, two tablets. So the patient is ordered azithromycin, 0.80 gram, by mouth once. So PO once again means by mouth. How many milliliters does the nurse administer? So 110 milligrams per five milliliters. So that means that in every five, so every five milliliters of the solution, there is 110 milligrams of azithromycin. So you start with 0.80. 0.80 grams, you need to convert grams to milligrams because every five milliliters of the medication, there's 110 milligrams of the azithromycin. So definitely we need to convert grams to milligrams. One gram is equal to 1000 milligrams once again. Hopefully this is like helping. Hopefully you guys are remembering. And then we can use this now. Okay, we're using this now. So 110 milligrams are in every five milliliters. So in a sense, you can say it's equal to five milliliters. And we want our answer to be in milliliters, right? So, so then you multiply that across. Okay, got to cross out because you don't want, we don't care about this anymore. 0.80 times 1,000 times five divided by 110. Your answer should be 36.4. Your answer should be 36.4 milliliters because that's what we wanted our answer to be in. You always want to round to the whole number when you're doing these kind of questions. The patient is ordered to receive a plasma light infusion at 80 milliliters per hour. The IV tubing has a 15 drop per milliliter drop factor to provide the infusion by gravity. The nurses, well, the nurse sets the IV at which rate drops per minute. So we're just looking at these numbers. We don't care about anything else, just the numbers. So. If the patient, the patient is ordered to receive the infusion at 80 milliliters per hour. So usually I would just write that out. 80 milliliters per hour. And I usually, it tells you that the IV tubing has 15 drops per milliliter. I always put the 15 drops per milliliter before the 80 ml per hour that they gave us because as you can see, the milliliters will be able to cross out. We want the milliliters to cross out because we want, we want our answer to be drops per minute. So, and these are gonna be multiplied, multiplied. And then because it says drops per minute, we don't want hour, like how many, Minutes is in one hour. Just say it. 60 minutes. So we have to do one hour because we have to be able to cancel it. And 
and it's 60 minutes. One hour is equal to 60 minutes and 60 minutes is gonna be on the bottom. So that way, see how the milliliters canceled out? The hour canceled out. That way, all we have, that way we have minutes on the bottom and drops on the top, 15 drops per minute. So we're just gonna multiply across like we did with the previous questions. So 15 times 80 divided by 60. <clears throat> so the answer that I got was 20 drops per minute. That's my answer. Okay, this is our last question. Infusion rate calculation. So the patient is ordered ANSEF, two grams. So two grams of ANSEF. The ANSEF is mixed in 50 milliliters of normal saline and is to infuse over 30 minutes. At what rate milliliters per hour? This is what we want our answer to be in. The two grams of ANSEF is not really that important in this question because the ANSEF is gonna be mixed in normal saline. So really 50 milliliters, 50 mLs is what we care about because the ANSEF is in there. So, and also our answer should be 50 mLs per hour. So two grams, grams is not relevant. So we do 50 mLs, okay. 50 milliliters over 30 minutes. Now, remember the previous question? How many minutes is an hour? Because we want to cancel out minutes because we want hour. So minutes is going to go on top. So how many minutes is in one hour? 60 minutes. And then you're going to put that over one hour because one hour is supposed to be on the bottom. Milliliters is going to be on the top. And minutes is going to cancel out. So 50 times 60 divided by 30 will be your answer. Your answer should be 100 milliliters. So 100 mLs, 100 milliliters per hour. And that's it. Comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, please. And follow me on Instagram. And thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys found this helpful. Bye, guys.